Radar is quiet through the valley, but we are starting to see some showers building into Calusa and Glen counties. It's mainly light rain for the time being. The steadier rain is likely to pick up for a spot like Sacramento and Stockton at about two or three o'clock this afternoon. Future cast shows that nicely. We'll have a few hours of rain from then on and notice the snow starts to pick up in the Sierra snow level up above 6000 feet. So expect chain control this afternoon all the way through tonight. 630 this evening. There may be a gap in the rain for the valley, but it will stay showery through about 10 or 11 o'clock this evening. Again, that rain light roads are just going to be wet overnight and into early Sunday morning. Look at Sunday though. This is 930 AM. We're dry in the valley. We're dry in the foothills. We're dry in the Sierra. Models have very consistently been showing this nice little break, so we're confident that Sunday morning it's going to be a good time to get outside. If you're trying to make a late break for the mountains, that's going to be a good time to drive up and over 80, 50 and 88 as well. By the time we get to Sunday evening, this is our next round of rain, and this round could be heavier than what we're looking at for Saturday. So this is where we could see some lower lying streets start to gather some standing water. Also notice the renewed snow up in the Sierra snow level still around 5500 to 6000 feet. So once again, a relatively high snow, but with better moisture, this is going to be a better snow maker. Today's snow probably three to six inches over the passes, but between Sunday into Monday, over a foot of snow likely at Donner Summit and Echo Summit. This is first thing Monday morning. Morning. This is where we could get into some of these isolated but very heavy bands of rain, and that's where we see that compounded risk for some street flooding in the valley and potentially into the foothills as well. So again, Sunday night into Monday, really the time frame to watch for some of that heavier rain and some of the heavier snow as well. With each of these rounds of rain, we'll get some gusty winds, winds gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour, enough to notice, but nowhere near the strength that we saw a couple of weeks ago. So we are not expecting the wind issues that we had a couple of weeks ago, but notice through Monday afternoon showers, maybe even an embedded thunderstorm in here and any of those could produce some of that heavy rainfall as well. So an active weekend, but definitely some time to get outside and enjoy. This morning is good. Sunday morning is good, but let's look at that compounded risk for some flooding issues. Street flooding today into tonight. Not a big concern. Rain is relatively going to be light as we go into Sunday and into Monday, though. Notice how the potential for that street flooding does start to increase. Also the potential for some of those smaller creeks to start to come up. So Saturday, Sunday and Monday all impact days. You see the rain icon there Tuesday and into Wednesday. That's more showery. It's really once we get past, I'd say midday on Monday that the heaviest of the rain will be done.